Hi everybody, it's Pepper Wood, Colleen. How are you doing today? Hey, I just wanted to give a brief overview of um, just some stuff that's going on. Um, number one, just put trust in the one above us all. That would be the big G-O-D. And um, anyway, um, it's getting busy um, at my job. And um, it's not necessarily what everybody thinks it is. But anyway, um, and I just want to say that we just got done doing about an hour, hour and a half swimming um, in our pool slash water containment area um, or catchment system. Uh, and I wanted to say that um, we got our mules uh Feet. The farrier came out and checked his feet again and, and worked with them. Um, and next time I'm going to remember to videotape it because it's really good. The young lady does a really good job and it is awesome. And I feel just that she is so empowered to be a female being a farrier. Um, and she is limited on some things. I'm not going to lie, but, uh, but she has learned to use tools that help her get her job done because sometimes what we have to think about is um, if you're not strong enough to do something what are some tools or what are some research and um, and resources that you can use that will help you accomplish your goals like for me um, I'm honest with myself I'm getting older I'm not as strong um, my goal to have this alpine goat and to have um, my mule do some packing for me, carrying stuff around for me. Um, and they're easy, what are called easy keepers. All they need is a little bit of grass, a little bit of hay, or even if it's really bad, you just um, put them in a small area like in the woods, like for the goat. They'll eat anything. So, I mean, it's, it's like, um, it's, you know, so if you can train them to carry some of your water or carry some of your supplies, um, pack animals have been used for centuries and centuries and centuries. Um, you know, and they don't have to be anything big, uh, you know, just, just something that you can train, like even dogs, there's dogs out there that carry their own dog food and their own water when they go out hiking with their families. Um, it's just something to think about. Um, I don't know, I'm just out here, we've been swimming. Um, it's getting dark. Um, it's been really hot during the day. The humidity has been high. Um, those people that are having respiratory problems, I get it. You, you can't do anything, you gotta stay inside your house. Uh, use that air conditioning ah, bug and then um, just uh, if you have to use the air conditioning and you have to stay inside do those laps around your house man get your heart pumping walk you got it you got to keep moving um, and um, I think that's really about it I'm just I'm just getting ready to cut some grass it's like 8 30 9 o'clock at night and I'm gonna start cutting grass but um, it's just been it's just too hot during the day so, um, hi, everybody have a good one. I was so excited I went swimming. Now I'm gonna cut some grass. I may end up going back in and taking a quick dip in the water after I cut grass. Y'all have a good one, bye-bye.